What's happening, good people? I don't know if you can tell where I got this from, but this is the guitar I've been telling you about that I won from dailyguitardraw.com YouTube channel. Um, and it's kind of weird that it came from the UK and doesn't look like it fell down 15 flights of stairs. And I'm not sure if that's because they actually put an arrow up on it, or maybe someone actually thought it was a guitar in there, or maybe it's the fancy Italian writing up top there, but. Ah, fragile. It must be Italian. I think that's just fragile, honey. Oh, yeah. Might as well open up and see what's inside. They did a really awesome job packing this and these things up. Well, word obviously got to them around that um, the UPS around here is horrible and they throw everything down flights of stairs or FedEx for that matter. But because um, I don't think it comes with a case because I don't reckon that to be any type of case that would normally come with this type of instrument. And they put so much packaging in there. Look at that. Can you believe I won this thing? It's a little weighty beast. The uh, Epiphone Dot. I'm just doing the unboxing of this now so that I could show it up on the live stream. Also, I'll make sure it was in good condition. And I had to take a look at it for myself because I couldn't believe how easy it was to win this thing give you some close-ups of this and a uh, playthrough. I'll probably be wearing different clothes than this because uh, we're not doing it tonight. All right, and we're back. Uh, I'm gonna restring this thing since it came from all that way. They played it a little bit. Normally I, I would do this off of uh, camera, but I'll take this opportunity to tell you uh, a little bit how you could possibly win this guitar. We set up a Patreon and in that Patreon, there's different tier levels, and one of them is strictly for guitars. And basically that gives you access, once it's maxed out, is that we're gonna use that money to uh, buy guitars under a $1,000 range, and uh, every two months we'll wind up raffling them off once that's maxed out. There's another tier range that is uh, pedals and guitars, and that gets you entered into both. It's really our way of giving back to you guys for helping support the channel. When it comes down to it, it really doesn't make that whole lot of money, if anything at all. What we do is we take the proceeds from that Patreon and we just put it right back into buying guitars. And then every two months we do a raffle pull name out of a hat, or the wheel actually that we use. And uh, the winner gets the choice of any guitar that we've reviewed on the channel up to that $1,000 mark. Then after a year or so, um, we reserve the right to, to sell the guitars, you know, to try to help feed the channel, keep on going, but we're gonna hold on to any guitar that you see within the last year. I think it's not only a good way to help support the channel, but also uh, get some gear in your guys' hands. You may have seen already too that we have the uh, Slash guitar that we bought, so that's another option. And of course, any of the budget guitars if you really wanted to choose from. But the $10, I mean, if you think about it, it's $10 to basically help support the channel, but also enter a giveaway every two months. Can't beat it. Your odds are gonna be 
one and 200 max if both of those tiers ever tap out, top out. And the best part about it too, is you don't have to be present ever to win. It also, as a Patreon in the uh, OG section that we call it, it gains you also um, full rights to be in every guitar giveaway that we do. So if we do a random guitar giveaway during a live stream and you're not present there to win it, not a big deal. I'm gonna just copy and paste your name, put it in the wheel, and you still have a chance to win. That's just our little way of thanking you for being there from the beginning. And that's why we started it so early so that we can get the core members that joined very early on, give you guys the first opportunity to be in this. All right, there we go. All restringed up, ready to go. Like I said, this beauty could be yours. Alrighty, she's all tuned up and are ready to go. You know, just for a quick little side note, do you know that like 75 to almost 80% of you watching right now, you're not subscribed to the channel? Go down below, hit that subscribe button. It can't hurt. And if you want, ding that notification bell and let you know every time I put out a video or I do a live stream. But if you don't, I'll still show up in your feeds anyway. Give the a like too. It uh, lets the uh, YouTube algorithm know that I'm pretty cool and it should push out to more people. And share this video, we can get the word out. So that the more people that can get to join that Patreon, max it out, we'll give it away six guitars a year. Pretty crazy for a small little channel like mine. But hey, we can all dream, right? I'm kind of hoping this one's a dud so that nobody chooses this one and I get to keep this because I've always wanted one of these. <laughs> You know, this is straight out of the box right after I want it. So it just probably needs a little bit of a little tail and loving care. Maybe the trust rod action's really low. My, my playing, I love play a little bit hard. So trying to soften that up a little bit, but you hear a little string buzz. But man, this thing sounds pretty good. Let's see what it sounds like uh, with a little uh, crunch on the uh, amp.
go a little bit more gamier. Man, well, I hope none of you all want these. If you join the Patreon and uh, we, you know, give you an option of choosing a guitar, this thing is, you know, I always wanted one of these when I was growing up. Um, I'm not really a fan of the uh, the gloss necks on the back, but it's not like super sticky. But I guess after a while, you get playing with it, it's probably gonna feel get a little gummed up from your hand and stuff. But. Uh, I'm not going to do anything to it, but if I was probably keeping this, I hear you take like a uh, triple of steel wool and get rid of that possibly. Don't quote me on that and don't go do something. Uh, overall, it's pretty, pretty good. I think uh, it's probably a plastic nut and probably would change that because uh, you'll see in the close ups that uh, it looks like there's a little paint that's missing from that over there. but. The finish looks great. I mean, to me, it sounded great. And that's right out of the box coming over from uh, the UK. You know, I'm sure they had it set up a little bit, but the intonation was fine. 
Fret edges feel great. The tuners were smooth as all hell. They felt like butter. Grover tuners, not locking, but I mean, they, they felt beautiful. Switching was great. Knobs feel great. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd really, really be sad to see this one go. I'm really kind of glad that I got one of these things, but hey, you know what? If truly, if you want to choose this, if you be, decide to become a Patreon member, I wouldn't knock you for it. And I would probably just wind up getting one for myself one day, but still can't believe I won this thing. Not really sure if the uh, missus believes that I want it. I don't know if I mentioned how I want it, but um, if I didn't, link to the video below. Let me know what you thought about it. If you own one of these, if you want to own one of these, you've all been a fantastic audience. And as always, stay tuned.